Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banner Saga. This is the third episode I'm recording this session, the longest session I've done for this game at least. Um, but yeah, this is like part six now. We just arrived at Frostvillir, where we're gonna try and hide from the dredge. And it's not looking good. Why are there so many people in the fields? We can't stay outside in the open like this. Oddly finds you amongst the many refugees. Rook, I just talked to some of the women here. No one is being let into the city. Why is that? It's overrun with Varl from Blotzbacher, Balker, Greyhorn, people from Mitra, and all the nearby villages. There are dredge everywhere. All the chieftain of Frost and the chieftain of Frostfiller has locked himself in his great hall. That's when they close the gates. Well, that's real mature of him and just run away from his problems. When the dredge come, dredge come, these hills will turn red. We have to get in there. Hmm. I want to know more about what's going on in there. I see a lot of people gathered around the rest house and the gates. We could find out what they know. How do we get in anyway? They closed the gate. I can get that gate open. Sure you can. You're a varl. You can do anything. Let's see if there's any other way before we start breaking down the gates. I wasn't going to break. Just push really hard. Well, wait. If you can just push really hard and open it, then how is that going to protect us against the dredge and shit? I don't know. Let's talk to Odd Leaf here. How are you doing, Odd? I'm all right. Not at first. Sometimes when a loved one dies, people say it doesn't stink in for, sink in for a while. It sunk in for me right away. People tell me I'm a strong woman. It's funny. My father named me Oddleaf before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Strong woman. What does that even mean? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's the best option here. It means you're going to be okay. That's not being strong. That's just being... I feel nothing about my husband dying, and people think I'm strong. If I cry because my insides feel like I'm, they're on fire, I'm weak. Hmm. Why does I feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. You're not sure what to say. In the many years you've known the Chieftain's wife, this is probably the most you've ever talked. You asked me to come find you? Yes, it's about the banner. I thought about it a long time. He asked me to give it to you, you know, if something happened. Why me? He always depended on you, Rook. It should be mine. I could carry it. But I thought about why he named you. I get it. They won't follow a woman. Families would leave. Our banner would be divided. I would vouch for you. Come on, Rook. This isn't the time for pretending. I would vouch for you! It's not about our small town. What happens the first time we need something from another clan? How will that go? And the first time someone th thinks they can take advantage of us? I think this is what has to happen. Fair enough. Maybe this is what it means to be a strong one. She looks sideways, eventually giving you over a tenant smile. I'm not sure I've, if that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard or the sweetest. Oh, okay, cool, I guess. Listen, I know I dragged this out. The truth is, my husband and I could never have had a child. I don't want our banner to end here. We'll be safe with you and Alette. I know you're going to take care of her. She puts her hand on your shoulder as she heads back to camp. Cool! That went well, I guess. Okay, so we still got the gate, heroes, rest, uh, we don't need to level up, we don't need to rest. We can't buy anything, so let's just head over to the gate. You approach the gate, where hundreds of people have gathered. In the trodden, bloody space in front of the door, several pincushion bodies lie unclaimed, as though they simply belong there. Shit! Arches up on the walls make it clear that nobody will be getting in. Men and women below intermittently call for mercy and reason, when they're not flinging stone and curses. Hmm, how merciful and reasonable of them! Hmm. Ivor, did you really expect to push these gates open? I'm willing to try, grunts Ivor, despite sizing up doors that look like they can hold back an army. And when men start shooting arrows and porting out to stop you, then you kill them, he says. You're not sure this is the most sound plan. We're not doing this. This is a terrible idea, you say. We don't even know how many are in there. Ivor folds up his arms. He seems almost relieved he didn't have to live up to his earlier boast. Uh, find out more from the crowd. You spend an hour talking to different people who have all had the same story. A couple days ago, the chieftain shut himself in, closed the gates, and refused any more refugees. I've got huge stores of supplies in there, too, adds one more in. They're just hoarding them. I was following the outside of these walls, and there's a water passage we could screen, squeeze through, I think. Not a whole caravan, but if a handful of us get in, we might open the gates from the inside. Now let's shout at the guards first. We're from Skogur, open the gates. You get as much response as you expected. Shit, come on. Gather around the rest houses, maybe we can find help, or there, or at least make ourselves useful. Well, I I want to do the water passage thing. I just wanted to yell at the guards first. And back to the gates. Oh, come on! That is horse shit. 
That is horse shit. God, that is horse shit. You spend a whole day at the rest houses. If everyone gives you the same story, cheap and just there are a lot of wooden people here. And this adds a lot. We could help them. I thought, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's check out the our fucking bullshit. Should have been able to do that yesterday. I'm not fitting through there, says Ivers. Well, you're like the cornerstone. Oh well, whatever. When you arrive at the narrow ducks, go without me. It looks like you'll be able to get on top of the walls and then down to the gate where you can open it. Wait for us at the gate, Ivor. We'll be quick. When Agile sailed water, you should have guessed runoff. Still, you managed to get... Ah, uh, uh, is a sewer? Okay, that's pleasant. Still, you managed to squeeze your way through the tight stonework and force your way past an iron gate. You take stairs to the top of the walls. As you approach the gates, armed men take notes. They don't ask questions. Oh, okay. And we're in a fight. Okay, so I can get Hogan and Mogan in here. I do want them in here, I guess. Because, yeah. A thrasher? Both Hogan and Mogan are thrashers. They're literally the same person, except one has a scar. That's kind of cool. Um, Alright, so now we got this dodgy thing. I can't put this on anybody. And yeah, this is great for battle. So I guess the thrashers are like the Warhawk from earlier. They do a lot of damage, but they're not super tough. Oh, uh, God, they always start us out flanked. Well, it's only been two fights, so I can't say that for certain. But still. All right, which side has more? They've got an equal number. I will try to use ingenious strategy. No, no, get over there. Hmm. I think that this might be our best bet. Plus, at least they're not dredged, so their armor isn't going to be crazy high. And their armor's certainly not bad, I'll save that though. Alright, let me see. Attack him, his armor. Why can't you hit for shit, dude? Well, I guess we'll just start weakening him down a little bit. See, he did- wow, he did like way more damage than you, and you're supposed to be a tough guy. Alright, we'll just, uh, move over here. What would my attack do? Very little. Very little, indeed. Alright, let's mark the prey. Ah, yeah! Archers are, work really well with that ability. Alright, anyway, let's see. Over here. No, 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 no. Alright, over here. Bloody Flail. Oh, that must be what that guy used. Oh, they're even the same spray, just slightly different colors. Five damage, that could boost to seven. Then we could kill him next turn. Yeah, that might be the best option. And it'll reduce his damage to virtually no. I guess not. Alright, let me see. Um, Alright, Bloody Flail. Oh, wait, wait. I can do Bloody Flail, or... Hmm. Do one damage to either one. Yeah, let's just do four attacks at strength uh, or arm each. Last it adds plus one. Okay, so Bloody Flail would probably be the best one. Uh, yeah, we'll do this guy. Yeah! 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 That worked pretty well. Ooh, God. You know, for a guy with a shield that's, like, supposed to be crazy good because it's made of iron or whatever, he's not doing much for you. Okay, yeah, you take out this guy. There we go. Now the fight's a little bit easier for me. God, archers just do no damage. Hmm. Which one? Okay, so that guy. I didn't want to do this. Uh, fair enough. God, they're just beating up on him. And now he can't do any damage to them. <sighs> well, whatever. Just keep on taking the damage, I guess. Uh-oh. Ah, okay, that didn't do much. Alright, so we're back to Rook now. And he's actually in pretty good shape. And this guy is not. So we will... Oh no, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, oh, that was a close one. I'll boost it a little bit. There we go. 
That's two out of six down. That should have been more damage, I thought. Shit, I fucked up. Okay, so I can do four. Mm -hmm. Or I can do bloody flail. Mm -hmm. Nah, that probably won't work. Mm -hmm. can boost it up to six and then kill him next turn, yeah. Best bet. <laughs> Hey, uh, mm, does not look good. Okay. They just armor is not easy to chew through. Ow. Okay. Um. Move up here, a little bit close to them, and hit him. Fuck. God fucking damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Now yeah, let's reduce his armor, I guess. I, I don't know. God. These guys just have wooden shields, and they're more durable than my guy with an iron shield, who's dead now. I wouldn't mind him being dead, honestly. He just hasn't done a whole lot. Ah, uh, come on. Go for it, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> God, my guys just don't do any damage to armor. This sucks. Alright, alright, alright. Lady Flail might be my best bet, because uh, I'm not doing much damage to him. God, they, she hasn't even done anything to them yet. Yet. So, let me see. I'll just reduce his armor further. Archers, so far, do nothing. I just have, do not find the synergy yet. God damn it. Ah, oh, this is rough. Okay, so I can probably finish off that guy by boosting my attack. There we go. Yep. Boost. Yeah, you weren't expecting that. Hogan and Mogan have been doing pretty okay this fight, though. Pretty okay indeed. Alright, let's see. So Flail will... Oh, I can do five damage to him. That's not going to be enough to kill him, though. Let's just flail around a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, God, they're using my same tactic on me. Alright. That really fucked him up. And... no, oh, no, don't end the turn. He's gonna have to be good enough. Ow. Uh... Shit. Oh, yeah, I can archer. Archer is bitch ass. Yeah, there we go. Pillage. Shit. God, these fights are hard. Here. There we go. Am I expected to, like, lose this many guys every fight? Or do they expect me to just make it through uh, without losing pretty much every anybody on average? Because either I'm doing okay or I'm absolutely terrible on this game, at this game, depending on who you ask. And we're almost done here. Ow. 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 Ooh, it smirts. Uh, come on! And we're done. Okay. 
Victory, the foes lying down at your feet would regret ever crossing your path if they weren't dead. Okay. Don't push. Rook is ready for motion. Yeah, all right. I love this guy. Oh, look at his twitchy eye. What in that episode you're doing? Letting ourselves in. What? How did you get in here? I see that. I'm very impressed. But all those people you just let in here? Dead? Women and children? Would you? Dead? I think we're the only ones holding this place together, Skull. What are you talking about? The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before refugees know it's. If I knew there were fighters of all inside, I would have brought you in. I'm Echo, I'm charging here. You heard about the chieftain? Or, um, you heard about the chieftain? We heard he's hiding out in the Great Hall. Oh, really? I think you mean hiding out in the grave? He's eating worms if that weren't clear. What happened in here? As soon as we heard dredge were coming, anyone who couldn't swing an axe got one to the head. That's a short story, anyway. At least three clans in here warned over two from food, and the worst are the guards forsaken Varl. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration, as if stating the obvious. Oh. Racist. We're in more danger here than out there. Look, I was in charge here before things went to crap. You've got some people who can fight. You've got your own Varl. That counts for something. I can keep your flock safe in the Great Hall. You fight for my, and you take back Frostfiller. I don't take sides. Too hard to tell when the good guys have become the bad. Fine, cut these sheep loose and watch your own asses. What do I care? All I want to do right now is get off the down streets. Think carefully about what you want. I, I do not trust this guy. Like, I love him, but I don't trust him. He's got a twitchy eye. Uh, I feel like we can... Yeah, inside from sure. You feel I echo sizing you up on the spot, his hand hovering near his axe. He snorts through his nose, changing his mind. Good luck, then. Hope we don't meet again fighting through the same scraps. With the gates closed, Echo and his men disappear down the dark alleys. But we, we know what we're doing. I'm going to unify this place under my iron fist, making it up as we go. Chapter 3, Little Did They Sleep. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. Oh, are we going back to Ubin? I love Ubin. Uh, yeah, there's Grothheim. There's fucking Grothheim. God damn it. And there's Strand. Okay, so it seems we're going back to this guy. All right, well, you'll see them all next time. I'll thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.